teetering on the brink of disaster and largely unprepared. This is what recent scientific studies have concluded about Manila, one of the world's fastest growing and most densely populated cities. It also sits on one of the world's most dangerous fault systems, which geologists say risks an imminent earthquake, as strong as the one that struck Haiti last year. And a magnitude 7 earthquake is equivalent to the detonation of a thousand Nagasaki atom bombs, only that it happens below the ground. The Valley Fault system cuts right through the city, and this shopping mall is directly above it, despite international guidelines suggesting that no structures be built within five meters of a fault line. But clearly, those regulations aren't always followed. Juana Awayan's house is right above the same fault, but she didn't know that when her family moved in 20 years ago. An earthquake soon after nearly split the home in two, and it's been sinking into the unstable ground ever since. We have nowhere else to go. We are just making do with what we have here, and it's getting worse. When it rains, we can hear the movement of the stones, the walls, and there is that sound, and I say, that's it. Even bits of stone fall from the top. There are many Filipinos completely unaware of exactly where the fault lines even are, or what precautions need to be taken should there be a quake. The most recent study conducted by Japanese scientists here says at least 34,000 will be killed should the big one strike Manila, and 40% of low-rise structures will collapse. We did not have the right uh, urban planning. Somebody can get away not following the specifications by paying off somebody to give, give you the permit. The events in Japan have served as a wake-up call. The Philippine government now wanting to revisit suggested guidelines proposed to them years ago. But for many in this city, not much more can be done now, except carry on and hope for the best. Margo Ortigas, Al Jazeera, Manila.